Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave video. I'm catching up on some of the items that uh, were waiting for me when I got back from vacation. So uh, I've got them kind of stacked up, which has given me an opportunity to do maybe uh, a few more shaves this week than usual, because uh, I actually have the time right now. Uh, wife's coming home late from work, so I got the time. All right, so today I'm going to be trying out two new products, and uh, both from uh, some cool companies. The soap today from Dr. John's, Flowers in the Dark. And I do believe that this uh, soap is now available for sale. I think they just released it. And it's got a scent of lavender, and it's funny in the description, I think it says when the lavender dries, uh, it leaves you the scent of uh, coffin wood. So, uh, flowers in the dark. We will definitely try that out. All right, and from Global Shave Club, uh, Sheldon from Global Shave Club sent, has a new razor out, it's called the Ice. And it's billed as a step up in aggression from the Mercura 34C or the Edwin Jagger uh, DE89. And we're gonna find that out today. One thing I can tell you right away is this razor is very heavy. And uh, where's my Mercura? And figures, can't find my 34C. I probably haven't unpacked it yet, but here is the 37C. This handle, well, you can tell. There's a big difference in that height on the from the mercure and this handle is very very heavy and it says for those of you who want to kind of do a next step up uh, according to the website and i put all the description of these items from both these products in the description of this video and the links as well so you can go to their website so we're gonna i'm gonna use a familiar blade today and i still have from uh from south america or central america the uh, Gillette uh, Super Thin. They're very hard to find in this packaging, but I really like this razor or these blades. They're one of my favorites, that and the Gillette Wilkinson Sword. So we're gonna load this in first, see how the razor matches up. Now the razor is a three-piece razor. It has no identifying marks on where it was made. The box that it came in the box said uh, Swiss Shave Safety Razor. It uh, came in this box with some, was it Shaver Boy? Yeah, Shaver Boy stainless blades from Canada and a uh, really nice cloth to kind of clean it. And it came in that. But it is a three piece. So let's see how, uh, how she loads up here. Hope you guys are having a good week. It's Tuesday. I think I'm finally getting used to the uh, Pacific Pacific time zone again. All right. So she locks up like this. All right. Has a very, very little overhang. See that? Some of you guys really concerned with overhang. I actually like it because it gives me an opportunity to, to grab the blade when I'm changing it and change it real easy because you know you never want to grab the blade by, <laughs> by the sharp edges. It appears to line up very well and that nice heavy handle is going to just give a natural weight pressing on the skin. So that is the razor. All right, now let's try the soap. For the brush today, I'm gonna to be using from Rich Man Shaving. So soaking in the uh, Crystal Skull, the Innovator. I've used it a few times in the video. I remember one time I used it and uh, I was using a uh, brushless soap and it didn't lather that well. So <laughs> I've used it since, but I'm gonna be using this today. All right. Oh, and for the aftershave, Man, I really like the Polo Red. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna be using the Polo Red by Ralph Lauren. Oh, very nice scent. So I will be using that. Let's wet the face. 
just got home from work, so I'm not coming out of a hot shower, so I'm gonna wet that. Pretty good. Sure, a cool looking uh, tin too. Yeah, the folks at Dr. John's have some good products, all right. The Innovator is part synthetic, part natural, so it holds a lot of water. And it lathers. See her coming out. Lathers pretty dang good. I could sit here for 10 minutes and whip up the whipped cream lather that you guys really like to see. But for me, it's not that necessary. I smell a lavender very, very strong right now. Very, very strong. I like that fat handle on the air. Good going, Rich. You've got a good brush here, buddy. And I understand that the razor that uh, I'll be demoing to maybe take off the goatee, I don't know how long I'm going to keep it, is in the mail on the way. So it has been shipped. So looking forward to that one. Feels pretty slick. Man, that scent is super strong. Super strong lavender scent. I really enjoy that lavender smell. And I, like I said, I think this just came out. I got kind of a sneak preview of it, but I was out of town. So I do apologize for not getting these videos out earlier. All right. Very nice. Not going to be able to tell how aggressive it is compared to the 34C just yet till I get it to my neck. But it is taking down that hair very well. Had an opportunity yesterday to do an unboxing of a new video or video pinball machine that my brother purchased, and I appreciate him letting me do that. It's kind of cool opening up something brand new in the box for the first time. So I get such a kick out of trying this stuff for the first time. The razor company that's sending me the razor to try out. It says it's new. It really looks like a nice razor. And they said, what, what do you talk about when you do your videos? I don't know if they've watched a lot of my videos, but I always kind of describe them for the first time, as you see, right out of the box. I shave with them and you see it happening for the first time as if you were doing it. I don't tell you you have to buy them or not. I just tell you how they're working for me and you can see it. And I purposely have not looked at any other YouTubers' review of the Ice Razor or the Dr. John's. Sometimes I can find myself being influenced and mention some things similar. So if I am mentioning some similar things, it's not on purpose. Because I haven't watched any other reviews yet. Yeah, it looks ridiculous there. Nice. By the way, that felt, of course, ow, a spill. That felt like it was good enough. A lot of people ask, do I have to do two or three passes? No, you don't. It's whatever makes you comfortable. If you want to have a BBS shave, do two or three. If you can get it all with one pass, Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I do one pass, as long as it's done the job. Now this soap is slick. I'm telling you right now, before I had the whiskers there, so I was feeling the, uh, the sandpaper underneath it. 
And I like that the razor handle has this knurling on it, which makes it very easy to grip. This is a little slicker, but this is not. And I think this lists at $38. But I'm not positive. You can uh, check the web page. Like I said, the links are in the web page or the description of this video. Global Shave is really expanding their line of products. They're coming out with new razors quite often. DE safety razors, which I like. I really don't think the second pass was necessary. That is heavy. It does feel more aggressive than the 34C. I can't tell you about the 89 Edwin Jagger because I haven't used one in a while. And there's definitely soap in that ear. That ear too. And in the <laughs> and in the goatee. All right. Still a little sunburnt from vacation. You can probably tell. I wasn't going to use an alcohol-based uh, prop. I was going to actually probably use some uh, Nivea, but uh, I opted out. But I uh, think I will use some. Uh, Peach Witch Hazel before I I think it's the peach you can't get anymore either and I randomly chose that I'm not choosing them because I know they're going out of business or they're not doing the I random I got this from West Coast Shaving it was on the shelf I got it and then I hear later after using it that you guys might have went try to buy some but uh Seems okay, except for the soap goes so good it goes all over your shirt. All right, some polo red. Whoa, that comes out quick. There's a lot on here. Oh yeah, damn. That must be a close shaving razor, boys and girls, because that burned. Whew. That is an aggressive smooth shave. I'm glad I used that soap. I needed slick soap with that. Nice. All right. Can't ask for anything more. I'm ready for the evening. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your subscriptions. Go check these guys out. Check out their site. Uh, you make a determination if you want to purchase their products, but uh, it worked really good for me. So, uh, Two thumbs up. All right, guys. Looking forward to doing another video soon, maybe in a couple of days. I've got some good products from PAA to do, and then I'm almost caught up. All right. Till next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night.